We are getting more details now about that shakeup at the top of Pfizer. According to sources, the drug makers board of directors <clears throat> asked Jeff Kindler to step down. Bloomberg's Shannon Pettypiece is here with more on this management shift. So not necessarily at uh, retiring, really no, a firing. Right. Well, the company line was that uh, Kindler had CEO fatigue. He was tired. He had enough of the job. And maybe that was the case, but he only resigned a few hours before the board was supposed to meet to discuss his future. Now, concerns about him and his leadership style, management style, actually went back to September when the company's executive leadership team held a meeting to talk about succession planning. And at that meeting, they said, well, let's make Ian Reed, who's now the new CEO, a chief operating officer, get him some more experience, responsibility and also help take some of the pressure off of Kindler and get some of these, you know, help move along decision making. Mm -hmm. Well, Kindler never named Reed chief operating officer like this, you know, uh, committee of executives had asked. And that really started building some discontent within the company. So questions started getting raised about the board. And in the past two weeks, the board said, all right, let's meet and discuss his future. Initially, they'd wanted Reed to get some more experience as a chief operating officer, but instead they've sort of had to throw him in right away at the CEO role. So really that that was the breaking point that he didn't take the marching orders it in terms like of it, naming yeah. Reed. Why? Why didn't he? I mean, was it a matter of being threatened in that position? Well, it's or? unclear. I mean, only he knows that, and he hasn't. You know, he hasn't been doing any interviews. But it would have meant meant giving up more day-to-day -day power, more responsibility. Maybe he saw him as a threat. Possibly, it's kind of unclear. But that's basically what we know at this point from people inside the company who are involved in this process. Well, the initial read in the wake of those headlines on Sunday night was that it was good news for the company. Has mm -hmm. any of that perspective changed? Well, well, I think now it's still a little bit uncertainty. I think uh, overall people are happy with change at Pfizer. They weren't happy under Kindler, as you can see from the stock price and how it had performed over the past four years. So now change is good, but Ian Reid hasn't really come out. He hasn't said much about what he wants to do at the company, what's in store, what the plans are. So I think now people are waiting to see what Reid has to say, what he, uh, direction he's going to be taking the company in.